So this video is going to focus uh, still on the history of the atom, uh, but focusing on the gold foil experiment, gold foil experiment. So this is Rutherford's experiment. Uh, so I have two diagrams here that I wanna explain and uh, give you the detail that you need to know. So what we have over here on the left is the, the setup of the experiment. So what Rutherford had was what we call an alpha particle. This is called an alpha. Uh, all you need to know is essentially it was uh, two protons and two neutrons. So essentially it was helium without the electrons. So it has a positive two charge. It has a positive two charge. So what he did was he set up a piece of gold foil, which is what is in this picture. And then he had a detecting screen to kind of see what happened when he put a positive charge through a gold foil. So what he was trying to see is really what was in the atom itself. So if we have a positively charged particle going into the atom, how would it behave? How would it behave? So this picture over here kind of shows um, if the dot here is the nucleus and then the cloud around it is where the electrons are existing, okay? And this is your alpha particle. Okay, these are all alpha particles, all positive two, going through the atom. What he saw was that most of the particles went straight through and nothing really happened. Only occasionally were they deflected. And the reason for the deflection that they found out again after this experiment was that the nucleus itself, because the nucleus is made up of protons, which are positive, okay? So if this is a positive charge right here in this picture, if I have another positive charge, it's going to deflect it because the positives don't like other positives. So that is what was not expected um, when Rutherford did this experiment. He thought that the protons were all over. So he thought he would get all kinds of deflection in here. He thought he would kept hitting over and over and over again. So he had the idea of what they call the plum pudding model of the protons being all interdispersed in the atom. But Rutherford disproved that. So this is what you need to know about it. So you need to know that the nucleus is very dense and compact. Um, so we'll put dense and compact. So it doesn't really take up much of the space. Most of the space is taken up by the electrons, okay? So that is where it takes up most of the volume of the atom. Again, what he thought was in there was a bunch of protons, okay? Another way to think about it, I think in the other video I talked about like a blueberry muffin, okay? So if the blueberries were the positives, he kept, he, if he was hitting a positive into that, he would have seen all sorts of bombardment. A lot of the particles would have been gone all over the place. Instead, he kept seeing that they went straight through. So that obviously disproved what they thought the atom looked like. So again, when the technology improves, when they get more information, they change the model. So it was no longer protons were just everywhere in there the protons were now located in the dense part of the nucleus. And that is what Rutherford was given credit for. That's what he was given credit for. So that is the gold foil experiment, the gold foil experiment.